this Ezra went up from Babylonia. He was a scribe skilled in the law of Moses that the Lord, the God of Israel, had given. And the king granted him all that he asked, for the hand of the Lord his God was on him. Good Saturday morning. Fifty-seven years after the temple was completed, another group of exiles returned to Jerusalem. The new king of Persia, Artaxerxes, commissioned Ezra, a priest and a scribe, to go to Jerusalem and reestablish the law of Moses. One ancient Jewish tradition holds that Ezra memorized the five books of Moses so perfectly he could write them out word for word from memory. Ezra understood that his efforts were not being blessed because of his clever leadership, but solely because the hand of the Lord his God was upon him. This phrase is repeated two more times in this chapter, three more times in the next chapter, emphasizing that God arranged favor for Ezra before the king. Everything Ezra requested, the king agreed to, provided him with all that he and the other exiles needed to travel safely. The Jews had spent 400 years in the Promised Land, but had wandered away from trust in God. And because of that, they were taken into captivity in Babylon. Ezra and the other exiles were now making the journey from captivity back to the Promised Land. And their path lay through a land filled with the enemy, sustained by the hand of God. They were strengthened and protected all along the way. This story of Ezra's life can be the story of our own lives as well. We can expect the same kind of blessing and protection from the Lord when after, as spirit-filled Christians, we allow our faith to stumble and we go into some kind of captivity, but we now are making a concerted effort to get back to him. He takes our puny, flawed human effort and he amplifies them, he grows them, he builds them for his glory. If we turn toward him today, he'll turn toward us. If we put our hand in his, he will direct our path. Heavenly Father, thank you for the exemplary life of Ezra and the way that he, he set his heart to know and study and teach your word. Lord, develop in me an increasing desire to study, practice, and share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that I may be used by you to turn the hearts of some who've strayed from the way of salvation and back to you. This I ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.